Hey, good morning guys. I am getting ready to plant a fall window basket on our tool shed and we haven't showed this very much. I think it was in garden tour part two. Uh, we do have another shed on our property. It's called the potting shed. We did a little makeover on that uh, and it's probably appeared in a couple other videos, but this one hasn't. So I really haven't done much around this spot except for keep the weeds down. There's a few annuals right here that are doing really well. Um, but it's time for some color over here. So I brought home some really pretty things. I'm not really sure how this container is going to come together. Um, it's going to kind of have to evolve. It's also 36 degrees out here right now. It's already getting really chilly out here. Kind of love it. So we have a Toffee Twist Carex right here, which is a perfect grass to use in fall containers. The color is just on point for fall. Ornamental cabbage with some beautiful purple ornamental kale right there. There's a lemon coral sedum and some gorgeous pansies. They have the prettiest color. Hi, Dexter. Dexter's full of beans this morning. He's been running around like crazy. Okay, so then I also have some um, just, these are silks. They're maple leaves, but they look really nice. And then uh, some preserved oak leaves right here, which are the real deal. I'll probably lean toward these because of the color and the fact that they're real. I kind of like to use real stuff. And then I, am, I have some little mini pumpkins that I might work in. Not sure yet, but I grew these in my garden, so I'm kind of excited about it. So this window basket is made by the Kinsman Company. We actually carry this line down at the nursery where I work, so you might be able to pick it up at your local nursery. If not, we will provide a link where you can order one online. They call them a hay rock, actually, not a window basket. It's just this um, coated metal, and it's lined with the cocoa fiber here, which is actually really thick. It keeps the soil and moisture in really well. I get lots of comments from people wondering about how often I have to water these things. I water them like I would any other container I have on my place. Um, so I don't have any problems with moisture retention. This one is a two foot size, um, which I think is perfect for this little window. I think it's really cute. So I'm just gonna put soil in it and plant it up. We'll see how this goes. Okay, so I put this together and I don't know if I absolutely love it because it's so balanced. I've got one grass, two cabbage, two pansies. I don't know. So I think I'm gonna mess around with it a little bit more and maybe add a third cabbage in and take something out uh, and see how that looks, see if I like it better. I might end up going back to this. We'll see, this is what happens when you plant containers. I need another lemon coral sedum. Gotta go grab one. Okay, so I like this way a lot better. So what I did was I just moved the two cabbage that I hid, had in here out to the sides and moved the pansies in and added an extra lemon coral sedum and an extra cabbage. So that's the beauty of fall container gardening and I've said it so many times that you can smash as many plants as you want in a container and they will be happy. Because when it's this cool outside, they're not putting on any more growth. Um, so we're not worried about giving them a ton of room to grow. So these will all be happy and they'll do great in this container just like this for the fall season. So all of these are really cold tolerant too. Um, they're not perennials in my area like the lemon coral sedum and the toffee twist uh, Carex are a zone seven, which means they're still hardy to zero to five degrees Fahrenheit. That's pretty tough. Um, we're a zone five, so things have to be hardy to negative 20. So they won't survive in my area, but what I'm gonna probably do is come out here and pop these lemon coral sedums out when it gets really cold and I'll bring them inside into my sunroom and I think that they'll be really happy. All the other stuff really uh, stands up to cold really well, like the cabbage and the pansies on really hard frost days, they might kind of wilt a little bit down, but then they perk right back up as soon as the sun's out. So I'm really excited about how this turned out and I think I might add a couple more containers by the doorway here um, just to kind of complete the look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed seeing this come together. I had a really fun time putting it together. So thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye. <music>